Hey you guys, welcome to your uh, weekend edition, Love in General Reading. This is for the element of air. So if you are a Libra, Gemini, or an Aquarius, Sun, Moon, or Rising, these messages are for you for the weekend of July 15th through the 17th, 2022. So I want to thank you guys for all your love and support. Please keep in mind these are general, so they may or may not resonate, but hopefully you get some clarity. Also, if you're wanting to book a personal or private reading, uh, be sure to email me for a price list if you don't have it. If you want to reach me by phone, it's a separate process, so make sure you're registered at Bill per Call. Request your call back. Um, and if I don't get back to you that day, I'll get back to you within a seven-day time frame. Uh, also, be sure to check me out on Patreon for the monthly Venus sign readings. And check me out on TikTok. All right, so we have the overall energy as the uh, seven of pinnacles. Then we've got the Eight of Wands. We have the Five of Pentacles. Then we have the Two of Swords. We have High Priestess, Nine of Swords, Queen of Cups, and Ten of Pentacles. Okay, so something seems like Maybe you've been patiently waiting for something to manifest. Um, and then during this time, you know, you've had uh, an opportunity to reflect um, and just kind of sit back and observe. Um, sit back and observe what you've come through or the things that you've experienced. And I feel like you are also starting to understand some sort of valuable lessons in regards to the things that you've experienced. Um, it does seem like you've, at w or at one point, you were in a dark place. Um, maybe you felt alone or like maybe unheard. I feel like you felt discarded. And I don't know, just kind of wondered why you were invisible or why couldn't people see what you saw. I feel too like, I don't know, I'm getting like heavy energies. Mm. Energies of feeling just like misunderstood and just disconnected or like an outcast. Hmm. I'm getting like a lack of protection, lack of security. It just seems like you have been lacking. You also may have been, you know, having like a little pity party or had like a, you know, what was me moment. I feel like you also may have put something out into the universe or like you, you put your prayers out there, you put your intentions out there. And you're like, I'm gonna put my intentions out into the universe. It's, you know, somebody's gotta hear me. It's gotta be an archangel that's gonna hear me. It's gotta be an ancestor that's gonna hear me. God has gotta hear me. Like something's going on where I kind of feel like you really felt like somebody out there, somebody's got to hear you crying for help. And it does seem like message received. And someone's got your message. You know, I don't know if it's who it is, but somebody's got your message. Somebody is being assigned to you to help you. Um, I don't know why I'm starting like to, to just kind of see this as like a caseworker in your, their case. Um, so I kind of feel like somebody's getting ready to work on your situation from above. Um, and it also seems like maybe something was urgent or it's like, can we put a rush on this? So yeah, I, I feel like your prayers are, you know, received. And whatever intent you have put out into the universe is now just marinating. Uh, there is a need for you to just hold tight 
and continue to be patient. Now also, if you've been feeling broke or like you've had like a lack of income or your money's just been funny, I feel that, it, you know, by the end of the weekend, uh, at some point that you do feel pretty secure. You're like, okay, finally, you know, my money came through. Um, so if you've been waiting to receive any type of pension, a check, um, social security, um, what do you call it? Um, some sort of disability. I'm kind of getting something about a disability. Um, I just feel like you're getting paid for something. And this something is giving you like a cushion. Yeah. Mm. This also could be anything um, that gives you security, even if it's not financial. I feel like ultimately you feel like you have an abundance of wealth or security. You also could be getting ready to make some sort of a big purchase, but that's because you have it, the money to spend. Okay, I feel too like something's been going on where someone has been concerned about their image um, or the image of the family. Something may have been kept secret or hidden Someone may have been trying to hide their pregnancy. Um, I just feel like maybe something's been hidden to protect someone's image. Hmm. You also may realize that something runs in the family, um, some sort of gift. Maybe you're realizing that you have some sort of gift that runs in a family, um, or maybe you are inheriting like the family business. I heard something about a fa family heirloom. Some of you may be thinking about going into some sort of farming or winery. Yeah. Hmm. Okay, so this might be for those of you that come from some sort of wealthy background. I don't know if someone was written out of the wheel, but now they're back in it. Okay. I feel like you are also torn or there's a decision that you're needing to make, but you can't seem to make this decision. It's like you I don't know, I feel like you're you're like, I can't make this decision yet or I'm not ready to make this decision. I do feel like you're needing to trust your intuition. You may be seeing like 22. Mm. I'm getting blocked. Something is blocked. Your throat chakra might be blocked or your heart chakra. I also feel like some sort of hidden knowledge or information is being blocked. Like even your third eye could be blocked. Something's going on. It may be too that you aren't listening, you aren't paying attention or you aren't listening. I feel like you need to quiet your soul so that you can hear what spirit is trying to say to you. I also feel like you're setting boundaries or telling someone no, but I don't feel like someone is taking no for an answer. Someone keeps going head to head with you. 
I feel like two people have strong opinions or strong wills and they're just like bumping heads. Mm. You also may be trying to run away from your problems instead of confronting them. So this is indicating that you need to confront your, your problems or insecurities. I feel like you're also overthinking some things. Something seems to also be like a nuisance. This might be something mundane, like having some sort of weird infestation in your home. Maybe a bird got into your home um, or any type of rodents or ants or something might be in your home and you know, something's like a nuisance. Hmm. And then I see you going from being patient to impatient too. One minute you're patient, the next minute you're impatient. I also may be picking up the energy of someone around you. There may be someone who, someone who can't stop thinking about you. And pay attention to your dreams too, because it seems like maybe something keeps coming through to you in your dreams, or your dreams are trying to warn you about something. But yeah, in a love situation, it could be that someone can't seem to stop thinking about you. I feel like your, your insecurities could be triggered in some way. I will say this anxiety or these thoughts that you're having are in your head. Like nobody's thinking this. This is all you. Mm. Yeah, you could be acting paranoid or like I said, maybe it's somebody around you coming off a little paranoid. But I feel like this is something that is going on within you. You've got to overcome some things. Refusing. I feel like you're refusing. You keep saying no to something. Mm. You could be dealing with a water sign. Could be any sign, but water is standing out the most. You also may be in denial of a water sign. Maybe you don't want to admit to yourself that you like someone or that you're interested. Or maybe you also have some sort of a gift or a talent, but you're in denial of it. Hmm. You might find peace with a water sign. It might be a water sign that can give you security or peace of mind. If you've been stressed about um, a response, like something that you apply to, and you're stressed about it, I feel like you're gonna get an answer. And the answer gives you a peace of mind, gives you a sense of security. So especially if you have started to stress about when you were gonna hear back on some money or a job, eventually it's gonna come through. I also feel like something is not your fault, something is going on in regards to your bank.
might feel like something is blocking you from work. Uh, I feel like there's something's work related where you might feel blocked. Mm, mm. If you are a writer, I definitely can see writer's block. I feel like part of the reason for writer's block may be because whatever it is that you're writing about hits too close to home. Um, something requires you to be vulnerable or to share some of your experience, your experiences. And I feel like it's, it's just kind of a hard thing to do. I also feel that you are your own worst enemy. You are doubting something that you're able to do. You're like, I can't do this, um, but you can. Or you think you're not good at something, but you are. I just feel like there's something about your work, something that you're doing, something that you've you've practiced something a lot. And you keep saying, this isn't good. This is, I don't like this. And people around you are like, what are you talking about? No, this is good. This is good. You're doing a good job. But, you know, I just feel like you're doubting yourself or your ability. So that also could be your only blockage. Mm. something about if you normally have like a lot of dreams and your dreams have like you feel like you haven't been dream dreaming it does seem like something is blocked you're like what's blocking me from seeing the future what's blocking me hmm you might be waking up in the middle of the night to write something down or you might have to get into the habit of writing down your dreams um, the minute you wake up. Or even if you want to put it in a voice note or something. Um, but you might want to start keeping track of your dreams. You also might need to go to your dream journal to find out some sort of information that is like the key to something. Again, I'm getting something that's being revealed to you, but maybe only during your sleep. Spiritually, I see something like being initiated. Something might be a secret, like, I feel like you're being invited to something, but I feel like you need to be ready. You might think you're not ready to see something or to deal with something, but you can. Mm. In a romantic situation, I feel like someone low-key wants to marry you or they want to provide for you. Yeah. I feel like you do have someone who is low key observing you and feels connected to you. This person, though, they're very mysterious, very intuitive. 
um, could be an air sign, fire sign, Taurus. You may enter a relationship in secret. Or it seems like there's going to be a, some sort of a secret agreement made this weekend. Business-wise, maybe you are getting a client um, where, you know, it has to remain anonymous or like a secret. Okay, I'm also getting that something will be made official this weekend. Hmm. Okay, I'm feeling like something is going to appear to you. Like something makes an appearance to you. Something reveals itself to you. It also could be about you coming out and revealing yourself, especially more so like a secret admirer. Somebody might kind of come out of hiding. But it still seems like someone was scared out of hiding or was forced to come out of hiding. Yeah. Hmm. Okay, I feel like someone is just having to overcome insecurities. There also could be some sort of agreement or contract, like business contract that you were nervous to sign, but you decide to do it. Someone thinks your awkwardness is attractive or adorable. Okay, something is going to turn out to be a happy ending. All this worry and anxiety, all this stress it's gonna turn out to be a happy ending. Um, I really feel like for those of you that have been involved in something that was supposed to be a, a, like a secret relationship, I feel like the situation is changing and it doesn't have to be a secret anymore. I'm seeing also growth and expansion to your business or family. Mm. You also may feel like the center of attention or like you're getting a lot of praise and recognition for something. I don't know why I'm hearing something about touchdown. So I don't know if someone is dealing with some sort of drafting or like NFL, um, some sort of lottery. I'm hearing touchdown and I'm hearing score. 
Now also something looks good if you were um if you were if you were already getting ready to you know go to the casino this weekend. It does look like there there could be some sort of luck. Something's going in your favor. Um I also heard something about a hotel. So I don't know if you're going to a hotel or if you're if you want to have like a hotel, you bought a like a little hotel or motel. Bed and breakfast. Hmm. And then I'm also getting something about honeymoon. I don't know where that's coming from, but I'm getting something about a honeymoon. So I don't know if you're going to some sort of destination. Yeah. All right, well, let's pull some energy cards. All right, additional messages for air signs, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, Sun, Moon, or Rising for this Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. All right, you have all tied up. Victory. The thinking man, overall energy, third chakra, Archangel Chamuel. So there could be something going on with your will and your desire, your creativity. Maybe that's an area of your life that has been blocked. Maybe you have been lacking motivation. Maybe you have been having, like I said, a lot of doubts and insecurities. If you have been, that may be why, you know, because there is something going on with your um, with your third chakra. Um, maybe something's been eclipsed, but it does seem like maybe something's going to be activated. And I feel like you're overcoming some sort of obstacle. So I feel like there's going to be victory in regards to some sort of blockage that you were having or obstacle. And it seems like you were feeling helpless uh, and overwhelmed. And two, like I was saying earlier about how it looked like you had been praying or, you know, crying out for help in a sense. And, you know, you felt like you didn't know what else to do. But I do feel that you're going to have victory. Something's happening where maybe it gets confirmed that your prayers are being answered. Mm. I know it's cliche, but I kind of feel that maybe someone had to suffer so that they would understand success or have a different understanding on success. Mm. Okay, if someone was having some sort of breathing problems or asthma, I feel like someone is able to breathe again, or maybe someone is finding out what they are allergic to so that they can treat it. Hmm. I just see like a blockage being removed and you having some sort of clarity. Now, also, I don't know, it could be some sort of literal surgery that someone had to undergo. And it's like successful. I feel like something's going to boost your confidence. And again, I feel like the attention, like you being the center of attention, or maybe you're being crowned in a sense. Hmm. Those of you that do any form of divination, I feel like something's being revealed to you. Something is going to be very clear to you, the answer. Yeah. 
All right, so hopefully these messages help, but feel free to leave your feedback. Thank you guys so much for watching. Cindy Love and Grace.